Happy Thursday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. Welcome back. Daily Crafty Chat. My name is Caroline, and uh, it is the 24th of December. So, happy Christmas Eve to those who celebrate, and a gigantic cheers to you. Mmm. <sighs> Bailey's and coffee. It really is such a luxurious little treat this time of year. Really, really, really such a nice treat. Okay, I have a few things to share today and then I'm going to be saying a little um, goodbye for just a couple of days. I'm going to take a couple of days off of recording videos, but I will be back on Monday. I have a fabric giveaway that was Saturday's last Saturday's video so if you want to uh, check that out just a little heads up I was going to draw the name for that on Saturday but I think at the time I hadn't I hadn't really thought that through because it is Boxing Day and the family are still most likely going to be lounging around the tree in pajamas so I will be back on Monday and I will draw uh, I will draw a winner for the blue fabric that was sent to me by Nova Scotia Bob and I have actually I have the details on that fabric Bob messaged me let me just bring that up because it is really beautiful stuff beautiful stuff so Nova Scotia Bob where are you the messaging on Instagram is is not easy to figure out okay uh, it's 32 count slate blue and it is a piece that is 36 by 27. So if that twigs your interest at all, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful piece of fabric. Um, that is courtesy of the very generous Bob. In Nova Scotia, he sent it to me along with a gigantic box of candy. And I, um, I am offering that fabric as a giveaway. So I'll send it anywhere in the world. You just have to go. And uh, it, I'm pretty sure it was last Saturday's video and uh, leave me a comment there and I'll choose a winner on Monday. Okay, uh, the other little bit of, of sort of administrative information that I wanted to take care of today, and this is a really exciting one. Uh, if you've been hanging out with me for the last little while, you'll know that I have been raising money this month, uh, along with Patty Brake of Four Boys and a Newfoundland Girl for Muscular Dystrophy Canada. And we are raising money through chart sales. Um, the Flossmas 2020 holiday chart is for sale in her Etsy shop. And I've been running some auctions on my private, in, not my private, my personal Instagram page, which is at Off The Grid Needle Arts. And every week I've been running some, um, I've been posting some auction items over there, just like Michelle Bendy does. Um, she's actually taking a little break from auctions, but uh, I sort of took a page out of her book and I've been running them exactly how she has done it in the past. Though probably not exactly because trust me, that girl is organized because trying to keep up with Instagram, I tell you, sometimes it's just not the the comment section it's it's difficult because it doesn't seem to take it in order i don't know it's probably it's probably me but you have to stay on top of it because it's really easy to miss someone it's easy for someone to miss a bid and it's easy to forget to tag the person that you're outbidding so if you're if you're participating in any of those auctions just a just a side note just make sure that you check all of the comments just go in and have a quick scan that the bid that you're placing is actually the next one in line um, so that there's no disappointment down the road. So I am going to be, uh, the auctions, I was a little late with them. I, I actually got them up this morning. <laughs> I did them in the car on the way uh, to visit my parents. So they were listed this morning instead of yesterday. And uh, I do have those three items up that I talked about yesterday. And there are photos of the auction items at the end of this video today. And I will be doing one more week of auctions, but it's actually not gonna be a full week because we've got a few extra days tacked on to the end of December that fall, I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, uh, Thursday. I think the last, I think the 31st is a Thursday. That would make sense. I am going to sneak in one more auction for Muscular Dystrophy Canada because I have a couple of more items that are just too special to pass up. 
and I am actually going to list those items next Monday. So I'm going to list those items next Monday. Instead of waiting to Wednesday, I'm going to list them on Monday. So for a few days there, I'm going to be running um, this current week's auction as well as um, a new auction will start on Monday, but it's going to be a shorter auction because the items that I list on Monday, I'm going to end them on Wednesday as well so that everything is wrapped up by the end of 2020 and then we can hopefully raise a few extra dollars this month. Um, but I'll tell you about those items on Monday. But I wanted to give you an updated total. So I went through all of the auction items that have already sold and I calculated up the money that has been raised. Now, to be clear, I don't see a penny of this money through the, of the, for the auction money. The way that this works is the winning bidder donates their winning bid money directly to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Their website, in case you want to check it out, is www.muscle.ca and that is their homepage for the organization. So the winning bidder directly donates their donation money directly to the to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. They send me a screenshot of their donation and then I either mail out their prize if it's coming from me or I pass the, inform the, the information needed to the person who is donating the prize and then they will send the item out to you. So just, just in the interest of full clarity, full disclosure, all of the auction items, none of that money is coming through me. It is all directly donated to Muscular District Canada. Chart sales, the pattern that you see at the beginning of every video um, for Flossmas, that is the holiday 2020 pattern that is available for sale still this year. You can also, if you're interested, you can purchase the two previous charts put out by Patty for Flossmas 2018 and Flossmas 2019 as well. 50% of every single pattern sale is being directly donated to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. I know, I, I'm just gonna, from now on for the rest of this video, I'm gonna short form it to MDC and you'll know what I'm talking about. So, um, the, the pattern is for sale for $5 Canadian. I think it's just, it's like $4.02 American. And 50% of all of that money is being donated by Patty to MDC. As of last week, um, the last number that she gave me, and that was probably about a week ago, we were sitting at about $400, I think $400, $410. So, but I have one more item to add to our total. And I just got this email yesterday. One of the auction items last week was a $100 shopping spree, $100 US shopping spree to www.celtichobbies.com. And the owner of that online shop is Claire Crawford. Now I've mentioned Claire and I've mentioned Celtic Hobbies on and on and on. I mentioned that I mention her all the time because that is where you can find all of the landmark tapestries and charts patterns. They're hard to find. Claire has them. Claire sells them. They're really hard to find. And um, in fact, I think she's like the only person who sells them. I have yet to find them anywhere else who has them in stock. So, and she's just a really nice person. I'm super happy that so many of you have discovered these charts through me loving them and now you love them as well. And I just think that it's been, it's been really nice to get to know Claire a little bit better. Well, let me tell you, I got an email yesterday from Claire and she had already been in contact with the winning bidder of the, um, the, the shopping spree. And, uh, I, I, I don't have permission to give you the name of the person who won that auction um, because I didn't ask her, so I, I'm not going to say her name. However, uh, she usually watches, so if you are watching, I would love to see what you chose. I'd love to see what you chose as your charts that are going to be arriving at your door. I'd like to get a sneak peek. Uh, so Claire sent me an email yesterday and she said, and, and it was a surprise, Claire matched the donation. 
Claire matched the winning bid. The winning bid was $120 Canadian and Claire Crawford of www.celtichobbies.com matched that donation and made a donation of 120 Canadian dollars directly to MDC and sent me a screenshot of her donation so we can add that to our total. And Claire, you just, um, I will admit, you made my day yesterday. That was just, just the loveliest thing to do. It was so kind of you. And um, I'm thrilled to announce that the total of money that we have raised so far as a floss tube, knitting, stitching, crafting, quilting, sewing community in literally one of the hardest years in memory, 2020 has been a challenge for everyone. $1,254. $1,254 and we're not done yet. We still have the auctions that are running this week and the auctions that I'm going to be putting up on Monday. So I'm wondering if we can hit $2,000. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. That might be a big goal, but I might, I might dig around a few more things around here and add to the auction on Monday. So we'll see what we can do. But isn't that, isn't that exciting? I thought that was really great. And I thought that you guys would like to hear the good news as well. So, so it is Christmas Eve. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be taking a few days off of visiting with you and I suspect I'll feel a little bit strange about not having a, a daily chat with you. However, I will be back on Monday, but I can tell you this, I do not have a Christmas new start planned. I don't have a Christmas Eve cast on planned. Normally I do, but I've got those two big, exciting new projects on the horizon for January. In case you have missed it, I'm going to be hosting a sal, another one, I know. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the two other cells that I'm doing. For the silk stitching app, History Stickmooster, the Virland um, 1807. I think I've got the date wrong. Um, Oh, it's, it's got the Roman numerals after it. Let me, I'm going to just look it up. That's just the easiest way to go about it. Uh, it's HKVH. That's this one in case you haven't seen it yet. You can find it on the silk stitching app for iOS or on January 1st, you can purchase um, and download the PDF directly from his Historisch Stiekmuster. And again, there will be links in the drop down box below. I, I'm not starting it on January 1st because I don't have my fabric and my floss sorted out yet, but it's coming. It's coming in January, so that's a big start for me. I also, I, I just, I have to stitch Jacob slash Jakob, Modern Folk Embroidery. I have to stitch his new stitch along for next year because it's literally just, stunningly beautiful and I, I think that I need, I need it in my life. So there's that. Um, you know, I've got my fabric already on my Q-snap. I might stitch another star over the next couple of days just for fun because I just really enjoy doing it just for fun. But my focus over the next couple of days is going to be comfort, 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 pajamas, Christmas movies, coffee, family, not going anywhere. Savon. Savon, Savon, Savon. I am going to stitch my face off on Savon. And let me show you what I did in the car this morning. Ta da! <laughs> I'm ready to put the heel in to my sock. My, this is my 12 Days of Christmas Sock by Timber Yarns. Um, www.timberyarns.com and this was the Christmas sock for this year. It comes, I think they're sold out now, but you could check their website in case you love it too. I, I love these socks so much. So like I said, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to use the brown. I'm going to use the red as my heel and toes. And so my, the very next thing that I'm going to do while I'm waiting for this video to upload to visit with you, I'm going to wind up this mini skein so that I can start my heel flap tonight. So technically, 
I have a Christmas Eve cast on. I'm casting on the heel flap for my sock. I think that counts because it's, I'm adding in a new skein of yarn. So we'll call it a new start. And that's it. That's what I plan on working on over the next couple of days. But as is usually the case with me, if I feel like stitching something else, I will. No rules, just for fun. Let's just have some fun. And that's it. I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to edit this video and get it up so that we can have a visit together. And then I'm going to go finish wrapping a few little gifts that I have left. We are supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. We had no snow, no snow, but it was in the forecast. So I've been eyeing the forecast every day, getting excited and more excited. And then today it came. So the weather, we, we left really early this morning so that we could, uh, it's about a two hour drive to get to my parents' house, just under two hours. And uh, so we got up nice and early so that we could try to make it home to beat the change in the weather because it was warm, it was about six, seven degrees. And we knew that the temperature was going to drop and there was going to be a time period of freezing rain and then changing to snow. And so we were really, we were trying, I was, checking the forecast I thought okay I think we can just make it it wasn't supposed to start until mid-afternoon today actually it was a little early so that video that I took that was on the way home that is right when the freezing rain started and we were on the highway but John's a great winter driver we have we have snow tires on the car um, you know he knows what to do so we just slowed down took our time and you know you manage your space and traffic and and stay vigilant and and yeah it, it was all fine so made it home safe and sound and my father-in-law herb is coming over um he'll be spending the holidays with us well he spends all of his time with us anyways um so that's not new but he will be here for the christmas um day and tonight for christmas eve so we'll be getting takeout for dinner tonight i think indian food if we can if we can find a restaurant that's um open for takeout and uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Lots of relaxing and, and merrymaking. So that's what we're up to for the next couple of days. So I wish you well. I wish you a very happy holiday season and cheers, cheers. Thank you for being here with me and uh, for, for letting me, for letting, for keeping me company as well. Cheers. Merry Christmas if you celebrate, happy holidays, and I will see you, I'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>